All righty, Minor League Baseball, the show. Welcome, everybody, to the two-part doubleheader of Minor League Baseball, the show. Today, we are at the San Antonio Missions as we have our three-game series. <clears throat> well, today, we're getting started with our starting lineups. And we're going to choose our stadium. <clears throat> oh, look at there. We're starting to get uh, comments in. And we welcome y'all to the live stream of Minor League Baseball, the show. John Fimla Ding Dong. What's up, man? Welcome to the live stream. Go Rockers. You ain't the Rock Hounds, man? <clears throat> yeah. I'm trying to look for that stadium we played last time. That's a Midland one right there. Tulsa. Oh, okay. So it's got to be at the bottom then. Iron Horse. That would be Corpus Christi one. Alright, let's... <clears throat> Crystal Falls. Oh, yeah. Rock Hounds, I mean. LOL. <laughs> That's alright, man. That's alright. Oh, okay. It's this one. Well, today we will only have a seven-inning game. We're going to go ahead and start. All right, guys, so we are going to do things a little different in this live stream. First, for the visiting Midland Rockhounds. Batting first. Oh, what the heck? That's kind of weird. All right, here we go. Batting first for the Midland Rockhounds is David Perez. Perez. In the DH. Shortstop Maurice Ferris will bat second for the Rockhound lineup. Ferris as short. Can Baladeras will be left fielder as he bats third for the Midland Rockhounds. Baladeras at left. Center fielder is Jacob Rugman. Rugman at center. Catching is Vinny Franco. He'll bat fifth for the Rockhounds. <clears throat> Franco catching. Lewis Mishad will bat six for the Midland. Mishad at third. Second baseman is Chet Navarro. Navarro at second. George Hernandez will bat eighth for the Midland. Fernandez at first. Right fielder is Luis Batista. He rounds out the batting order for the Rockhounds. And on the mound for Midland, Paul Blackburn. And now here's the starting lineup for the San Antonio Missions. <clears throat> batting first is Chris Velasquez in center field. Velasquez at center. Right fielder is Wilson McCormick. McCormick at right. Left fielder is Felipe Sierra. Sierra at left. Designated hitter is Craig Madreno. Madreno, the DH. Gilberto Lopes will bat fifth for San Antonio. Lopes at second. First, ba first baseman is Angel Aquino. Aquino at first. Catching is Johan Barrera. Barrera catching. Shortstop Jose Rondon will bat eighth for the missions. Rondon at short. Eldon Dunn will bat ninth. He will be at third base. And Dunn at third. Velasquez, McCormick, and Sierra will be your first of three. 
Madreno, Lopes, and Aquino will be your middle three. Barrera, Rondon, and Dunn round out the batting order for the missions. And on the mound for the missions, Larry Granger. Granger, today's starting missions pitcher. <clears throat> and now let's get started with the first game of this double header the Rock Counts and your San Antonio missions. <clears throat> Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the San Antonio Missions and the Midland Rockhounds. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. <laughs> Number 58, a California-born right-hander is on the mound. HR, what's the word on him? Well, he's got four pitches to work with and uses them all at all different times in the game. So he keeps hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. Stepping in, Chris Vasquez. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Up for the mission, center fielder, Chris Vasquez. And it's grounded foul. The 0-1 pitch. Hey. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. And with that, here's a look at the visitors starting lineup. What do they need to do to get a win on the road here today, Harold? <laughs> Well, this is a tough lineup right here. Bunch of young bloods, youngsters coming right at you. They're aggressive. They're excited to be there. And I think they have the advantage because you haven't seen them before as the pitcher. And I know they haven't seen you either. But, man, they're coming out of the shoot. First pitch fastball, they're probably swinging. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Our game time temperature pushing up close to 90 degrees. 89 degrees to be exact at first pitch. <coughs> oh, one pitch on its way. Hey. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. One out, nobody on. This one's down to third. Misha takes it in. Throw gets him to the Got him third. Left fielder, Felipe Sierra. So striding forward now, Felipe Sierra. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. First delivery to him on the way. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that's through for a hit. So the two-out base hit on the top of the inning is still alive. That's what you call going to the plate with a game plan. 0-0 oh, oh, count, Batting looking four. for a fastball. He took it right hitter. back up the middle. Crane. Great execution. Medrano. In now, Craig Medrano chopped weakly to the left. Going to be a tough play. Throw to first yeah. in plenty of time, and his side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Larry Granger, a Michigan-born lefty, gets the starting job here. Harold, what do you got? Well, he uses both the four-seam and the two-seam fastball, and what I like about it is the movement that he's able to create with both those fastballs. Stepping up now, David Perez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Designated hitter, David Perez. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Vasquez sprinting after it. He's not going to get to it, so the leadoff guy's aboard with a base hit. Well, this is the recipe they want. That pitcher comes out, throws a scoreless top of the first, and then you get a leadoff single to start the bottom of the inning. Good start.
Now we'll step off the rubber and go to first. And the runner back in standing. Into the box now, Maurice Ferris. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Boy, not a good swing there. That was really ugly. Anytime you can make a hitter look like that, you've done something special. Now, did it look to you like he was guessing on the pitch? Oh, certainly it had to be, Matt. But if he was, he oh. obviously wasn't looking for that pitch. Oh, and this at-bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. The 0-2 delivery. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. A runner at first with no outs here. Now a snap throw to first, and he's back standing. Here's another 0-2. Hit in the air to right field. McCormick has a play. Makes the play one away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. Harold, what's the key for them today? Tell you what, Matt, they got a great pitcher going, so it takes the pressure off the offense. You know you don't need five or six runs to win a game. You just scrape out a couple, and he's going to make it stand up. Coming to the plate now, Ken Baladares. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. First offering on its way. And this one's in the dirt. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. That looked like he was cheating for that fastball inside right there. Early swing, got out in front of that off-speed pitch, clearly looking for a fastball. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. Matt, I like the last two pitches. A change up and then a fastball, and he's late with the swing on the fastball right there. You got him in between right now, and that's an advantage to the pitcher. And he'll be back in standing up. <laughs> Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Pretty standard pitch sequence right there. Batting Just how four. you draw it up in a perfect Center world. Fielder. Jump ahead, 0-2, and, and then you toss a change up in the dirt to get him to chase for a strikeout on three pitches. If only it were always that easy. Standing in now, number 38. Pitch out, nothing doing. And he'll snap one over to first, and he'll get back in standing. A runner on first with two away. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Here he comes on 2 and 0. Oh. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to first and get him easily, and the side is retired. If he played an inning, no score here on MLB Network. Coming to the plate now, Gilberto Lopes. He'll lead it off second here to baseman. begin the second. Gilberto Lopes. Into the windup and the pitch. Here's a high pop-up. Fernandez is there for it. He's got it one away. Okay, here's the defense for the home team, brought to you by Majestic. The center fielder is the key to me. He is a tremendous athlete. He's always the best on the field, it seems like, right? You can put him at short if you wanted to, and this guy fits everything you ask. He catches grounders, he can catch the fly ball, and he makes all the throws. He is fun to watch. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. 
That was a tough play, so let's take another look at it with show track. Seemed to get a solid read off the bat, took a good angle at it, and he covered over 100 feet to make the grab. And I'm sure he'll be getting some high fives for that one. Into the box, Johan Barrera. As he'll send the first one he sees on the ground to second. Navarro in the hole. Throw on to first, a three-pitch inning, and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing-nothing. <clears throat> Into the box now, Vinny Franco. He'll get us going now. here in the bottom half of After the second. Vinny Franco. First delivery to him on the way. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Run going. Ranges to his right. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up defensively, courtesy of Majestic. The right fielder. It's not often you say the right fielder is the best outfielder in the outfield, but this guy is. He's got a great arm, and he's got tremendous speed. Love watching him perform out there. Hopefully they'll hit some balls from today so he can show off. Riding in, Lewis Michaud. First pitch on its way. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. Batting seventh, second baseman, Chet Navarro. Digging in the switch hitter, Chet Navarro. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Now a swing and a fly ball. McCormick is after it, but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Hard on the ground towards short. Rondon scoops it up. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Stepping up to the plate, Jose Rondon. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Rondon. Now he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Fernandez is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Hey, every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop up to start the inning. Striding in. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. He looks really strong here early in this game. And that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. 0-1. Oh here it comes. Tapper up the line. Michaud going to have to hurry. In the dirt. And oh, he can't quite dig it out. Well, when you're making Center that throw all the way across, Fresh. you've got to make Back sure you gather and fire because if you don't, the ball will sink on you. Look like he tried to finesse that one a bit too much, and they'll hit him with an error. In now, Chris Vasquez. He'll swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. Now a throw over, hey, he's and he's back in standing. And again, a throw, no, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Third inning, no score to this point. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw just in time as he was flying down the line that time. Now batting. Right fielder, Wilson McCormick. <coughs> Striding in once again, Wilson McCormick. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First offering on its way. Hey. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. 
Oh one. Here's the pitch softly hit toward the hole. Throw on to first and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. One error in the inning but it doesn't hurt him. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three and we are tied nothing nothing. Into the box George Fernandez he'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Now the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. McCormick is in a few steps as he takes it for the first out. Batting ninth. <coughs> right fielder, Luis Bautista. Digging in now, Luis Bautista. Into the windup and the pitch. Softly hit to short. Rondon is right there, and he is in there. Well, there's a one-out infield single. You know what? You can start a lot of rallies with one out. He was hustling down the line. If you're pitching, you think, golly, that was so unlucky. Into the box now. David Perez as he'll send a ground ball down to third. There's one relay to first in time and just like that the side is retired. Around the horn they go five to four to three to end the threat. Three innings in the books no score on MLB Network. Digging in for his second at bat Felipe Sierra. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Sierra. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Another one sent foul. Hit out towards second. Navarro is there. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The batter number one. Designated hitter, <coughs> Craig Medrano. Digging in to try it again. Craig Medrano comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Hey. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue, or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Didn't mess around much in that at-bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters, and go grab some bench. Stepping in now, Gilberto Lopes as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. On now to the bottom half of inning number four, and we are tied nothing nothing. Ready for another chance, Maurice Ferris. He's all for one thus far. Maurice. He's ready. Here's the first offering. I uh, had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. Wow, not sure what that was, but talking about having your mind made up, you're going to swing before the pitcher even throws a pitch. I don't know how you swing at that pitch. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0-2. Now we got a 0-2 count, Matt, and I tell you what, so impressive. He is executing his game plan, going right on the outside half and exploiting those weaknesses. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And now time granted here is he'll step out to rethink things down 0-2.
strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Ferris is retired, and there's one away. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Into the windup and the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Lopes is up with it. Throw on to first, two gone. Hey, not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, number 38. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Pulled toward right center field. Vasquez on the move. He makes the play. A great catch on the run to retire the side. So coming to the plate, Angel Aquino Leading comes into this San at bat 0 for 1 in First the ball game. Line. Angel Aquino. Here's the first pitch to him. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. The wind up and the 0-1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. That was a pretty good pitch on a pitch he doesn't throw very often, or I should say hasn't used in this game, that's for sure. That was a good pitch. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. Navarro backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Now batting, catcher, Johan Barrera. Into the box now, Johan Barrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Second pitch is chopped foul right at home plate, and he's behind now 0-2. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And both of these guys are working right around the same speed, 93 for one, 92 for the other. Here now is Jose Rondon. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. I really like how he's getting ahead early in the count. He's pitching aggressively, and what that does, it holds the pitch count down. To third, Michel gloves it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Stepping into the box, Vinny. Franco, he'll start things out in the home half of inning number five. Franco. First pitch coming, here it is. Down, and this will kick off the third base bag. That gets through, and he'll start the inning off with a base hit. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very often. Well, you make in-game adjustments, right, Matt? I mean, they've had a hard time scoring. Right here, he jumps on the first pitch to get things going, so I see a little bit of a change. Maybe this is how they jumpstart their offense for the rest of the game. Standing in now, Lewis Michaud as a good changeup will get him to commit too early and it's strike one. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat.
and boy they're really yep. giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there and it's 0 and 2 now so he goes back to back with the same pitch and got him to chase it both times he's clearly not picking up that pitch very well so he was confident doubling up does he triple up on it it's always tough to go back to back to back it's not a good idea to show a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. And the changeup is way low that time. Well, now it's a one-two count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. Ready on one and two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Sierra is in pursuit. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The batter number 15, second base. So digging in now, Chet, Chet Navarro. Navarro. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Here we are in the middle of the game, and he's 90% on the first pitch strike throwing strikes. 90%. Forget about it. You do that, you got no chance of hitting this guy. Oh, and it's Taylor made to short. Six, four, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Ready for another chance? Eldon Dunn. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Eldon. Yeah. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more pitch to contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far. And the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there. The straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat. And what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. In now, Chris Vasquez. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Oh, for two for him to this point. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Baladares giving chase and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Mike Hilbert, Wilson, McCormick. Digging in to try it again. Wilson, McCormick, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. That's it to short. Does he have another 1 2 3 inning? You bet he does. Make it 16 in a row. He's set down now as the side is retired yet again. Stepping in and ready for another Leading shot. George Fernandez George comes into this George at bat 0 for Fernandez. 1 in the ballgame. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And that's in there. Base hit. And he'll pull in the second here with nobody out. Oh, this is a great way to start the inning. Now the go-ahead oh, run is on second. One. A base hit away no, from coming across. I know it's only the sixth inning, but you'd love to claim the lead right now and let your bullpen carry the load the rest of the way. Into the box now, Luis Batista as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. A runner at second, nobody out. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. Two. two things pitchers really love, called strike threes and jamming hitters. How about that? Talk about that jam right there. That's about as good as it gets. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Liner toward right center. That's in there. Base hit.
Well, Matt, this inning just got interesting. It's got a chance to be pretty big. You start the inning with a double, and now you get the single, and you're sitting first and third, and here they come. David Perez. Into the box, David Perez. He swings and runs it to short. Oh, way to get dirty. The tag safe. Well, he comes up with a head right there and puts him ahead in this ball game. If they can keep a lead, get to that bullpen, they got a shot to win this game. Maurice Ferris. <laughs> Striding in once again, Maurice Ferris. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And he indeed yeah. takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. Well executed to Seymour on the outside corner that time. And, and that's and what you'll get a lot of dark. with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Stepping in, Ken Baladares, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. First pitch swinging here, and he doesn't get much of it as it's sent toward first. In the score, the runner from third. Now the throw comes in to hold that second runner at third, so they're at the corners now with still only one away. Stepping in now, number 38. Pitch out, nothing doing. The 1 0 delivery. Well, should be 2 0, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1 1. Oh, what a good slider down the way. And I'm telling you, late in the game to throw that pitch with that type of precision, man, your manager feels good about the decision of leaving him in. A one-and-one one count. Here's the pitch. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one-and-two now. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely, so I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. One and two, here it comes. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold now on. Batting. Catcher, Vinny Franco. Digging in and looking for more, Vinny Franco. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And this is Pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. Runner hey. back standing. The 0 1 pitch. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Here's the one and one. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. I love how aggressive he is. He's just attacking the zone with the fastball. Here it is. Now he's at one, two count, and really he can go anywhere he wants now. Runners on first and third, two away. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. Seventh inning coming up. The Rockhounds are out in front. Two to nothing. Back here for Texas League Baseball on MLB Network. It's on to the seventh inning now, but before the inning gets started, let's fill you in on what you may have missed. It's our game summary to this point. 
Digging in once again, Felipe Sierra. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. The batter, number one. Now at the plate, Craig Medrano, Medrano. for two on the afternoon so far. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball here, 0-1. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0-2. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old-fashioned hardball right now. Just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Matt, this is one of those games that has that guy right there, his head scratching. He's trying to figure out, how do I get these guys going? We may see a team meeting to motivate them a little bit better. Little tapper down the first baseline. He's got to hurry, and he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. A 2-0 finish today. Larry Granger is tagged with the loss despite giving up only two unearned runs. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time. score for our ball game for the victorious rock hound two runs well seven hits, this is our first air, game <coughs> of the first doubleheader of the season for the missions, we will runs, be back for part number hit, two no errors, in just a moment so anyway we thank you all for tuning game. in to two this first game of this minutes. this doubleheader and we will Thanks see you all back in and just a minute so stay tuned there's more on Minor League Baseball, the show.